I pretty much know everyone here, but for people who don't know me, my name's Chris. Some people know me as Kennedy's dad. Actually, everybody knows me as Kennedy's dad. Welcome, everyone, and thank you, family and friends, for being here today to witness this celebration of Kennedy and Weston's love for each other. To my baby girl, Kennedy Nicole Dooley. I had to say it one more time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know it is weird, but that's the last time I'm saying it. I asked the couple what they wanted me to include in this ceremony, and they told me to keep things light, but most importantly, keep things short. I guess we all want to get to that open bar. Ken, it has been about 4,000 days, give or take, since you came into my life. It started off with multiple trips to the counselor's office and ended with the two of us becoming best friends. Around three years ago, I got a FaceTime call from Kennedy on Valentine's Day asking what to wear for a date. Weston, where do I begin? Our love story is not like most, but that's what makes it so special. Dear Kennedy, I was tired of wasting time when I knew you were the one. My whole life I've struggled being loved and feeling loved and letting someone in. But when I met you, it was the first time in my life I felt safe and at home. I've been confused and questioned my life forever, my purpose, to be here and why. But it all made sense when I met you. I'm here for you, to protect you, to love you, to be your best friend and your soulmate. This is also a very special day for me because Kennedy is my beautiful granddaughter. As you share the next decades of your life, they're going to experience a fair share of ups and downs. Marriage is hard work, but I think you two complete each other, and you're happiest when you're together. I'm clearly not one at giving relationship advice, but if I could, I guess I would say always treat each other with respect, communication, and love so hard. It is truly just the beginning for you two. I'm not going to be the maid of honor to wish you many more memories and happiness because I know it's not needed. The day I found out I was pregnant, I was scared and didn't know what the future would bring for us. The way you responded made me feel safe and that this really could be forever. I sat in the waiting room next to Chris and the rest of the family when we got the first ever picture of Owen. My heart was immediately filled with so much joy and love for this little baby. Watching him grow and be a part of his life is something that I will never take for granted. And now we all know the two of you can create amazingly beautiful babies, so when is the second one coming? They're kind of like chips and salsa, peanut butter and jelly, ice cream and chocolate syrup. You just can't have one without the other. For you, I'd walk the ends of the earth to be with you and make you proud of me and the father I am and the man I am. It's always scary for the girl to find Mr. Wright, and you're hoping your daughter does, and, and you know, and she did. And I appreciate it. I promise to always remain faithful, be supportive to you and our family, forever put you first, keep you laughing, never stop loving you, and always share a heart pizza with you on Valentine's Day. I'm madly in love with you, and I'm so proud to be the new Mrs. Sigmund. With love, your wife.
by the strength of your love and the power vested in me by the state. Oh, we got to finish the rings, haven't we? Uh, <laughs> slip those rings on, kid. Okay. I'm really wanting to get to that bar. <laughs> The date went good, obviously, because just a few minutes later, my girl was pregnant. Woo! Yeah! I love you both from the bottom of my heart. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Sigmund. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs>